In this media, you will learn the explanation of the poem, The Frog and the Nightingale. Once upon a time, there lived a frog in a tree at Bingelbog, always croaking loudly in nights, which made other creatures dislike it. But the others had no choice to hear its unpleasant voice in the night. One night a nightingale came to the samak tree and started singing pleasantly. All the creatures living in the boat came to the samak tree to hear the song of the nightingale. When it finished, they started clapping and called the song as a divine one. This motivated the nightingale to sing till the morning. Next night the frog went to the nightingale and introduced himself as the bingle box owner. He started calling himself a glorious baritone in that tree and also told he wrote the songs for bog trumpet. The nightingale got overwhelmed by the way she got criticized by the frog. She called the frog Mozart in disguise and asked him to train her. Motivated from the cheering she got, she sang sweetly and gained a number of fans who came from long distances to hear her sing. Meanwhile, the frog smartly charged fees from the audiences and earned a fair amount. The frog thought of training her to sing non-stop, thereby killing her. Though it was raining the next morning, frog asked her to practice and when she refused, he changed her mind by using some attractive words. But her voice sowed and started trembling, which made the frog a happier one. But in the evening, her voice became normal and sang beautifully, which made the frog happy and bitter. The frog made her train for long hours, which made her weak and lose her niche in singing. With the sweetness in her song lost, her fans stopped coming and listening to her. The frog got angry and asked her to puff her lungs and sing, which the nightingale sang weeping. The frog told her she owed him 60 shillings, but the nightingale finally lost her life due to a burst of vein. The frog now scolded the nightingale saying that she should know her strength and should have acted according to it rather than hearing others. After the death of Nightingale, again the frog became the lone singer in Bengalbog and started his croaking confidently. Thus you have learned the explanation of the poem, The Frog and the Nightingale.